Welcome to the Verna Verdict. I'm your host, Jacob Verna. Today we're joined by LSU quarterback George Hamsley. George, you're from Tennessee, far away from uh, Louisiana. What brought you down here? Uh, I really decided to come down here. It was a great opportunity for me. And uh, Baton Rouge felt like home uh, from Memphis. And LSU really was just very welcoming. Uh, everything was very personal, especially on my visit. So I really just felt at home. Felt at home. How did Brian Kelly and his staff connect with you throughout your high school years? And how did he resonate that home feeling within you? Um, it was really just on my visit. Everything was very specific and one-on-one -on -one, uh, to my whole family. Uh, they were in contact with my coaches in high school a lot, almost every day. And uh, yeah, my visit was great here. It was the head person at every single station we went to. It was great. Uh, describe the interactions with the coaching staff. I know Joe Sloan was uh, in your ear a good bit. How, how was it to talk to these guys and just mix with this, this brilliant coaching staff Brian Kelly's put together? Yeah, the coaches have all been great, very welcoming to me. They've helped me uh, learn the plays and the, the situations very easily, and it's all been very close and tight-knit. It really feels like a family that we got here. When did you know that LSU was a school you'd choose? Was just this a feeling you had from the beginning, or did all signs point towards it in the end? Yeah, it was a little bit of both. When I first came on my visit, I was it was kind of like a wow. Uh, I really like this place. I could really see myself playing here. And then at the end, too, all, all the signs just kind of pointed at LSU. It was the best of the best. Describe the, uh, the rooting – recruiting process as a whole who reached out to you first from LSU and kind of what was that interaction like between y'all was it uh was it everything you thought it would be a, a big SEC school coming down um actually coach Sloan was the first one to reach out to me it's actually a funny story he texted me off uh Twitter I was actually watching a uh, Grizzlies basketball game so it was really loud and he wanted to call and I couldn't call in there so I had to leave the game a little bit walk out to the uh, the concessions where it's a little bit quieter and we talked on the phone. He told me he wanted me here. He wanted me to go on a visit. So I came down. At first, it really blew me away. And then it hit me when I was uh, taking the picture. It's like, I'm really, uh, I'm really here. But then when I got here, it was just straight to work. So it, it really wasn't a wow factor when I got here. It was just, all right, you're already part of the team. You're one of us now. Let's get to work. When did you arrive here? Did you come there for spring camp or is summer camp your first taste of it? Uh, summer was my first day. I came here May 20th. Uh, it was five days after I graduated high school. And what was your first impression of LSU? Like that that summer camp, that adjustment of the speed of the game and whatnot. How do you handle all that? Uh, it's definitely different. But the one thing that stuck out to me, even though everyone's a lot bigger, faster, stronger, I mean – once you get in here, you're just part of the group. You fit in and uh, you play to the whole group's ability. So it really wasn't too too difficult. Do you feel that, uh, like real comfortable in your role in the position? Uh, what about the position group and your relationship with guys like Nas, Daniels, and Brennan? How have they taken you under your wing in the early stages of your college and career? Yeah, definitely. All the, all the quarterbacks are so nice and uh, really welcoming and help me out. They've been patient with me, even though I've been trying to learn these plays. They've been a little bit tough for me just because they're new. And uh, they're still relatively new to them also because the new coaching staff just got here and brought a whole new offense. So they've been very patient and helpful, uh, gave me some tips. And, yeah, it's a great group overall. We're all very close. Uh, I feel like I fit right in with them. With LSU's new scheme, uh, fans haven't really got to see a lot of the new Brian Kelly-ish offense. I've heard uh, Dimbrock talk about pieces of the scheme, whether it be him trying to push the ball vertically down the field while also maintaining that power run scheme. Where do you see yourself fitting into the new LSU style of play? I feel like I fit right in. Uh, I guess that's just something where you have to just go out and show it to prove it instead of really talking about it, because you can talk about it all you want. you got to prove it at the end of the day. And with you, your your build is is, is huge. You're a 6'5", QB, strong arm. With that massive frame, you'll be able to provide a lot of assistance in that vertical part of the game. Uh, how comfortable you, do you feel with the run-and-gun style of the quarterbacks today? Um, 
I feel very comfortable. Uh, I can do pretty much everything I feel like. Uh, when I need to escape, I can escape. And when I need to throw, I can throw. When I need to take a hit and stay in there and throw the ball, even though I know I'm about to get killed, I can do that too. LSU is in the midst of a pretty thick QB competition right now. I'd say LSU has one of the best QB rooms in the country. It Pretty much all four of the guys have a chance to start, in my opinion. Um, walking into that type of competition, what is it like seeing it firsthand? Also, what is it like, you know, taking reps alongside these guys who are, you know, cutting their teeth for the first time in the SEC, such as Nuss and Walker Howard and yourself? Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a different experience. I like to look at it to see what I can learn, especially from my teammates. So we all go to each other for help, whether it's this play or that play. We try to learn from each other. And a lot of times people think competition would be hateful towards each other, but all the guys have been great and uh, all very nice and have a good competition instead of bad blood. We all help each other out. And that's the way you'd want it to be. You you wouldn't expect anything else at, at LSU. Those guys are, are tuned in. I've got to talk to Nuss, Brennan, and Daniels as of uh, late. And, you know, they've all kind of said the same thing. They've also spoke about how much Kelly and the new staff has helped them in their overall development. How would you say that Coach Sloan and Coach Kelly have kind of modeled you so far in your first summer with the Tigers? Oh, yeah, they've definitely modeled me a little bit. They've tweaked a few things in my mechanics, just uh, – trying to get me to be as good as I can be and reach my full potential. Uh, definitely the weight room has been the biggest upgrade for me personally. Well, what do you think about LSU's chances going forward? They got a strong uh, a, a strong amount of confidence behind them. I, I think that they can get at least a 9-3 and three record. It's looking really promising. What What is your thoughts on LSU, and how do you think they'll fare next season in 2022? From what I've seen so far, I feel like we can go as far as we want and as far as we're capable of going. We have great leadership by multiple guys. Everybody has poured their heart and soul out this summer, and we all hold each other accountable. And, uh, yeah, it's just really going to be up to us. Well, George, I appreciate you stopping by, and I'm going to uh, definitely stay in touch. Bright young future ahead of you, and look, man, if you – you know, you keep doing the right things and you keep having that same good head on your shoulders, same good leadership skills. You'll definitely go far, and I'm, I'm sure I'll see you around a whole lot more in, in uh, Baton Rouge. Of course. I appreciate you having me. Thanks for stopping by. This has been The Verdant Verdict.